So if you saw a beautiful woman today and you were too nervous to talk to her, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you later felt regret, go ahead and give this video a like too. Now, we've got tons of content that gets you out of the friend zone and into a beautiful woman's heart faster than you've ever gotten a day before. But we need those likes, we need those subscribes to keep it coming straight to your YouTube feed so you get the best content available. Now, what if you could be naturally attractive to a woman without using lines and routines? You could just naturally be charismatic and pull her in. What if just by being yourself, she was immediately interested in you, maybe even turned on by your presence? It may seem like magic, but really it's a very natural thing. It's natural for you as a man. You were built to attract women. It's called natural attraction. And it's everything that pickup artists don't truly understand that goes on deep down inside, deep under the surface. It's also everything that Fearless, the Fearless Man, is all about. Hi, I'm Brian with The Fearless Man, and for over a decade, I've been teaching guys like you the knowledge and skills that you need to become basically that naturally attractive man, the man you were born to be. You may be struggling with women in any number of ways, rejection, ghosting you, lack of sex, poor relationship, the list goes on and on. I know I've been there myself. But here's a secret that pickup artists and uh, people that are really trying to understand this stuff really don't get. Sex, seduction, dating all come down to a few simple biological and natural factors. When you harness this truth, sex and seduction becomes something as natural to you as a man as breathing while you sleep. You don't think about it. You don't try to do it. You just do it. You are it automatically. Today, I'm going to give you the six most powerful techniques you can start using today that will immediately change how women respond to you. These aren't pickup lines, routines. I'm not teaching you how to stand, walk, and talk so that you act and move like a, like a confident guy, but in reality, you're just faking it. This is real deal stuff, stuff that really works. You see, deep down inside, how you feel before you even move is the key to change. And this is what this works on. It works on who you're being before you say a word, move, make some weird stance to look cool or anything like that. So if you're ready to ditch the friend zone for good, then let's get into these six steps right away so you can take action right now to attract the women or woman of your dreams. Number one, you got to learn to step into tension. You've been fed a dirty lie your entire life about stress and tension, and it's massively killing your potential for powerful sex. I call it the curse of the middle class. You see, you were programmed to value safety, security, and predictability more than anything. Because the middle class loves the easy life, the big house, the luxury car, the picket fence. That's the life that was sold to your parents. And in turn, they sold it to you. You were told to go to college, get a practical degree, get a stable job, invest in your 401k, and above all else, don't take unnecessary risks. That's the equation for safety and security. With that kind of life, you can predict what tomorrow will look like because it looks just like every other day and every day that came before that too. But that kind of security has a dark side. Anything difficult, scary, or dangerous is impossible to deal with when you've been used to or living that kind of life. And when it comes to dating beautiful women, nothing could be scarier or less predictable. There's so many unknowns, things you just don't know what will happen. I mean, you know what it's like to approach a woman, right? What happens? She's defensive, turned off, and if you're lucky, gives you some attention to uh, just politely turn you down. If you're unlucky, well, let's not get into those painful moments just yet. When your whole life is built around safety, predictability, security, how can you confidently walk into a situation that's unpredictable, unstable, unknown, or mysterious? In the end, the curse of the middle class is really the curse of the single life. But there's a way to disrupt, delete, and destroy this broken programming for good. All you need to do is to start stepping into tension proactively in the right way. What does that mean? It means facing head on with your eyes wide open, anything that makes you uncomfortable. And nothing is more uncomfortable than standing in front of a beautiful woman and having no idea what to say. But when you show up in that tension, and face it willingly, your action already says more than your mouth ever could, and women pick up on it immediately. Even in modern times, women need to know you can protect and provide. Being able to deal with tension head on 
is the first sign of a strong protector. Take some time today to step into the tension that's out of the norm. The more you do it, little by little, the better you will get. And risk taking, like approaching and seducing a beautiful stranger, won't seem all that bad. And with a little practice, you'll start to truly understand what tension is. Because it's really easy when you're comfortable with tension, when you're powerful with tension, to start turning that tension into sexual tension. And women love that most of all. Because if you're looking just to go out and meet some beautiful women, just to explore, well, that's what it's all about, right? That's what they're looking for. So whether you're looking for a great relationship or you're looking for a beautiful woman or women just to have fun with, understanding how tension or sexual tension works is super important. Number two, the grounded masculine shift or being a grounded man. The grounded masculine shift is one of the easiest and most important things you can do to change how women respond to you. Even better, it's a simple step-by-step -step process you can do anywhere, anytime. And if you're wondering how you can cope with chaos and unpredictability, well, this is it. Let me explain. Grounding is a simple technique that lets you relax and attention. Consider a lightning rod. When lightning strikes the rod, it sends the current into the ground so that the buildings and people close by can stay safe and unharmed. The grounded masculine shift is the same concept. Your body acts as the lightning rod. Tension is the lightning. When you make the grounded masculine shift or you become grounded, you channel the tension through your body and into the ground. Why is this helpful? Well, if you're anything like most men, then you actively kill tension, which also actively kills the sexual tension. But you're doing it unconsciously because deep down you hate tension. You hate feeling uncomfortable. You hate the unpredictability of it. That's the curse of the middle class. It's another harmful feature of its useless programming. But when you can control and command tension through your body, you make women feel safe, comfortable, and protected. And they'll be ready to open up and play with you in conversation, on the dance floor, and even in the bedroom. You see, it brings out their feminine side. It allows them to become feminine because they're surrendering their masculine to you. And being able to handle tension is the number one trait of a strong masculine man that can provide safety or bring that sexual tension that women love. Do good leaders lead the way into a fight? Are you impressed by men that keep their cool in stressful situations? Aren't naturally attractive men even confident when women reject them? These are all examples of someone that can deal with tension. They don't kill it. They don't run away from it. They channel it through their bodies and relax it into the ground and accept it for what it is. That's what's impressive about them. Making the grounded masculine shift or becoming grounded means channeling the tension that is thrown your way. And once you can do that, you can start creating, changing, and commanding tension at your will. You can start playing with it, turning it into sexual tension, turning it into turn on. Number three, kill reactivity. Everything points back to tension and nothing kills it more than reactivity. The reactive man is a victim to tension. When a woman rejects him, he freezes or lashes out. When he misses a promotion, he gets down on himself or blames others. When something unexpected happens, he often loses his cool and gives up. On the other hand, the proactive man commands tension by expecting the unexpected and responding to anything that arises with relaxed confidence. As a proactive man, you can plan for the unknown. You accept things as they happen. You move with them and adjust your plans. Proactivity puts you in control and reactivity puts you at the mercy of outside forces. Now ask yourself this question, would a good woman want to be with a man in control? Or would she want to be with one that bends to the will of everybody else and everything else? For all of human history, women have favored men that can protect them. Societies have favored men that can lead them into victory. And you idolize men that show excellence in their character, their speech, and their actions. Being proactive is a sign of being a magnetically attractive man. It's what allows you to deal with so much tension, to be so good at it. And the good thing is shifting from a reactive to proactive state is very simple. It all starts with recognizing how you respond to tension right here and right now. Reactive men say things like, I need to do this or I have to do that. They avoid difficult tasks, choices, responsibilities, and instead, distract themselves with cheap thrills like video games and masturbation. When you're proactive, you say things like, I want to do this, I will do that, and I can take that on, I can do that. Ultimately, as a proactive man, you become what you want to be. It's no longer a matter of wanting or doing, 
it becomes a matter of being. To put it simply, when you're proactive, you are the cause, not the effect. Number four, you gotta open your heart. This is very important, it makes all the rest work. Without it, it can really slow things down or make things difficult. One of the shifts in the last few decades is how people try to gain power. It's been funny to watch because the most popular way right now is to victimize yourself. You see it everywhere. In Hollywood, sports, news, and politics, you are surrounded by people that are seeking your pity, your help, or your resources. They may think they're gaining power, but in reality, they're giving up their power. They're giving it away because now they rely on outside sources to give them what they want. Of course, they don't call it self-victimization. That would admit the fault in other ways. Instead, they call it vulnerability. But it couldn't be further from the truth. From true vulnerability, that is. True vulnerability comes from a place of authentic self-expression. When you proactively choose to display who you are, strengths, faults, and weaknesses, all of them, you immediately create a magnetic sense of attraction. When you can own what you're feeling and not beg others to fix you, and you can truly be honest, that's true vulnerability. It's a fine line to walk because it's very easy for us to deceive ourselves. We may think we are being authentic by bragging about our traumas, pains, and complaining a lot, but is it an authentic moment of self-expression or is it a plea for pity? People are inspired by authentic gestures. It's one of the cornerstones of true leadership. That's why women can't help themselves around men that display their masculine vulnerability. That's the key word, masculine vulnerability. Women are especially turned on by true vulnerability and completely turned off by pity parties, chronic complaining, and victim mentalities, neediness at its core. Opening your heart and displaying your true self starts with developing your empathy. Most men find that this is one of the most challenging traits to embody because true vulnerability creates tons of tension including powerful sexual tension. And that's scary for modern men to face. So they either shun vulnerability entirely because they view it as a display of weakness, or they go off on the victimization deep end. Either one is a surefire way to instantly kill attraction for any woman that's worth your time and attention. So number five, build her an invisible fortress. Men have been providers and protectors for hundreds of thousands of years. That doesn't just go away because some modern attitudes find it backwards or too traditional. To go against it is to go against the powerful force of evolution, something that's encoded inside of us in our DNA. That means modern women still look for a man that can make them feel safe so they can surrender and be feminine for you, dance for you. It doesn't mean that women can't take care of themselves, but everyone needs a break sometimes, men and women. And as long as women are holding their own, protecting others and fighting the fight, in other words, embodying their masculine, they can't relax into their natural feminine energy. So you need to be the one that creates a space free of threats and dangers and distractions. And you do this by grounding into your masculinity, your masculine shift. When you make the grounded masculine shift, you create an environment where women feel comfortable being themselves. That invisible fortress, that container is how I've often referred to it. They instinctively trust you because you prove to be strong enough in the face of tension. This allows them to slip into their wild, flowing feminine energy. It's like taking off a heavy suit of armor they've been lugging all over the place for years. It's like taking off a heavy suit of armor they've been lugging around all day oftentimes for weeks, months, and years, and they will see you as the one and only guy that they can be themselves around without fear or hesitation. And that's such a turn on for confident women because you are the man that creates the space for rapport, flirting, and beyond. Those that live the curse of the middle class stay safe in their golden handcuffs in a prison they've built for themselves. But when you step out of that and build an invisible fortress or something I used to call the container, everywhere you go, the women you invite in, well, they'll thrive in it. They love being near you because they can trust you. They can be themselves anywhere they go with you. Isn't that better for her than walking around with a strong defense system up and no one's strong enough to help her out to a, that she can actually kind of drop it around or that she can drop it around? Number six, lead like a man. The final way of being is the final form of all the others we talked about today. Consider this, grounding into your masculine energy creates a safe space for people around you. In that space, you proactively face the tension and uncertainty that arises in life. Confident in making decisions, no matter how hard they may be. When you do this, others will instantly recognize you as a leader, someone to listen to, to follow, 
to please. That's the definition of natural magnetic attraction. Your natural actions, your natural being inspires others to look at you and inspires others to follow you, to hang to your every word, to want to get to know you. There is no other way to make strong, confident, and beautiful women love you without being naturally attractive. Any other technique is pure manipulation. Being they require you to be someone you're not, to use tricks and traps. They may work here and there, but they are not sustainable. They're not authentic and they're not you. Not like becoming the naturally attractive masculine man you were made to be. By being yourself, your true self, the natural masculine man that is in your soul, you attract the interest and the awe of others because everyone is drawn to the strong, naturally cool and confident leader. True attraction comes down to tapping into your natural, authentic self. So much of modern society programs you to go against your evolutionary instincts. From the curse of the middle class to the pitiful power plays in popular media. But no one, no matter who they are, can deny the natural magnetic attraction of someone that can be themselves in any situation. Now, if you want a step-by-step -step process that shows you exactly how to embody your naturally attractive masculine self immediately, go to this link right now. This is your free copy of our flagship book, The Art of Fearless Seduction. We'll send you a brand new book straight off the printing press directly to your door. A real book, not an ebook. This book lays out the proven process that you can use to stoke your seductive fire immediately and start attracting the women you've always dreamed of. Don't let the curse of the middle class ruin your sex life. All you need is a bit of myth busting, some step-by-step -step guidance, and expert insights into the power of sex, and it's all here in the Art of Fearless Seduction. So go to this link and grab your free book before they're all gone. And to help you get through this faster, make sure you understand the nice guy by checking out my previous video that breaks down the nice guy and helps you to understand how to destroy the nice guy right away. I'm Brian with The Fearless Man, and as always, remember, only the confident really live. See you in the next video.